Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history, Sean's View Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with your raw review. And let me tell you, just like last night at TLC, there was just a few saving grace moments, a few matches that saved that pay-per-view from being an absolute disaster. Well, tonight, two back-to-back -back matches on Raw saved this Raw from, be from being, well, a complete train wreck. And I'm talking about Randy Orton versus Daniel Bryan in what was a phenomenal match. Match, but Randy Orton stuck into his old ways. You know, I mean, he was just violent, violent. He was volatile. He was sadistic, biting Daniel Bryan, getting out of the way of Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan, damn near breaking his uh, his damn near neck, his, his shoulder. I mean, it was almost blown out of sorts. Uh, we seen uh, CM Punk in the Usos versus the Shield. Uh, earlier in the night, was we saw Randy Orton come out and uh, John Cena confronted uh, Randy Orton and instead of inserting himself in the match, he put Daniel Bryan in the match, so that was good. It should have been for the championship, but even if it was for the championship, Randy Orton resorted to a low blow on Daniel Bryan. What a way for such a great match to happen, but you know what? I know a lot of people are going to probably argue and disagree with that, but Randy Orton is a heel. Heels do those kind of things to draw a reaction, to get that kind of outburst from the crowd, and that's exactly what Randy Orton did tonight. Earl in the night, we've seen the Rhodes Dynasty versus the Big Show and Rey Mysterio. And Big Show and Rey Mysterio completely dominated the Rhodes Dynasty. And a match that I would say was 3.5, well, no, 3 out of 5 stars just for the fact that the Big Show and Rey Mysterio were really on top of their game. Uh, we've seen Biggie Langston and Mark Henry go against the Real Americans. And, and was the theme tonight, Survivor Series? There was a lot of tag team matches, though. Was Teddy Long in charge of Raw tonight? Uh, then we've seen tons of funk break up when uh, Brodus Clay turned heel, I guess you could say. Uh, full-blown heel as he turned on his partner Tensai. Uh, then we've seen a confrontation between CM Punk and Shawn Michaels, which you would have to assume is leading to something big in the future because they wouldn't just have these two keep interacting, uh, you know, for the hell of it. So I'm, I'm, I'm sensing something's going to happen between Shawn Michaels, CM Punk, Daniel Bryan. Something's going to happen there. Triple H involved in that scenario. But Randy Orton versus Daniel Bryan, I can't say enough of that match. Then John Cena would come out at the end of the match to try to save Daniel Bryan. But then, lo and behold, Randy Orton would hit an RKO on an unsuspected John Cena. Your comments and your opinions, like I said, Raw got saved by two matches and a good confrontation between Shawn Michaels and CM Punk. And like I said, if it weren't for that, Raw could have been a, a complete dud. And with one more Raw, Raw to go before the year ends, you would think the WWE, WWE would want to hit one out of the park. So I'd give this Raw... Uh, and once again, I might be overrating it, but 6.5 out of 10 stars. I really want to give it that 7 out of 10 just because of the phenomenal match between Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton, which was a 5-star classic, perhaps one of the matches of the year. But there's just something that's stopping me, and it was a hot crowd. Maybe for the hot crowd and the intensity of that, I'll, uh, you know, I'll, I'll go 7 out of 10 stars. You know, like I said, it might be a little overrating, but that's what it is. It's Sean's View Entertainment, Raw Review, your comments and your opinions, and what did you think about Raw tonight? Subscribe.